heaven. And let it rain. And let it rain. I don't know about you, but I wanted the rain on me. I heard him say, I feel the rain. Anybody feel the rain? stand before your people. Yes, yes. Word his mouth today, Lord, yes. for he must decrease yes. for you to increase. Yes. Lord, I pray today yes. that you allow me to hide behind your cross yes. so they may see your sacrifice yes. and not your humble servant. Yes. Lord, we come today not only to honor these, this great man and this great woman, but most of all, dear God, we come to lift you up yes. and to give your name to praise. Yes. Lord, for he and the first lady are just servants. And Lord, you have commissioned them yes. to go and do thy will. Yes. And Lord, as they've done your will, and we're here today to encourage them. Yes. Give me the words of encouragement yes. that I may speak them to them yes. so that they will be encouraged to stay on the battlefield. Yes. Lord, if you would do these things for us this evening, we'll be forever careful in giving your name to praise. I wish each and every one of you would lift your voice toward heaven and say, thank God, thank God, and thank God again. Praise God. I realize that the house has already been addressed. But will just allow me today to I'm gonna give honor to God and my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. 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 To amen. The tallest man in his district. First administrative assistant. Amen. 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 Jerome Strickland. Amen. I told him I love coming home. You all may not know it, but I came from the North Little Rock District. So my military career, I came to North Little Rock District. So when I when I come here, I'm at home. When I come to Bible Way, I'm at home. Amen. So I thank God for him today. I also want to give honor to the day to our supervisor of the women department. Amen. To all of the pastors of the North Little Rock District. Yes, 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 Amen. Yes, yes. To those pastors that uh, when you invite me. Amen. Yes, the pastors of the Holly Spring District always ask, well, where are you going next? Yes, Amen. And when I tell them, they say, well, what time is the service? Oh. Amen. You may not know this. Amen. God. Amen. Pastor Brown has traveled, I guess, a little over 100 miles. Amen. I think he just stepped out. Amen. From New Scott's Temple, on the way down near Chester. Amen. Pastor Bird has come all the way from Fordyce. Thank God for them. 
Amen. I also thank God for our friends that we invited that has come. Amen. Pastor Michael Barker and First Lady Barker. God bless you. And I'll send a job for last month at New Faith Week. Amen. Pastor Darrell Maxwell. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. First Lady Maxwell. Amen. Also, I want to give honor. Amen. I gave honor to the North Little Rock uh, Superintendent, but also the North Little Rock District Missionary, Missionary Esteem Street. I want to also give honor today to my own companion. Invaded me last night. I don't know what it was, but I can look over there and I think I'll find some strength. Amen. Praise God. I thank God also. All of those that we have invited, I see my sister, uh, uh, Eliza Smith here. Amen. But we've invited some. First lady, we invited co workers. We have the Holly Spring District and all. Would you stand? Amen. All of those that we invited that have come, all of that Holly Spring District. God. Now all of the district didn't come, but one thing about it is we always, some places we get more to travel, sometimes we can't get, some of them will travel when you're local, but when you say Little Rock, you, you know, you, yeah. amen, but let me say this, they sent their offering, a lot of them sent offerings, amen, and I passed that on, and, 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 and last but not least, I want to also recognize, as I said, the Holly Spring District. We have our district missionary with us. Amen. 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 Some of the other district missionaries. And as I said, uh, I want to also, last but not least, I didn't leave them out. I want to also give honor to our friends. Amen. Amen. Pastor and First Lady, Dennis and Joe Rock. Telling you, we 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 spent a lot of time together. We traveled together in the United States. Amen. Um, out of the United States. All right. Amen. Have, um, crossed some oceans. Amen. Been on some islands. Amen. I thank God for them. Amen. Those are our friends. Amen. We salute you today. Amen. Amen. He did a good job on that salute. Amen. I was happy to see him. But I'm just so thankful today. And if you would just, as I make my last remark, go with me to the book of Ephesians. Yes, sir. And you return to the book of Ephesians, second chapter. Let me say this to you all that you're going to that passage of Scripture. Now, Pastor and First Lady is only given, only given one day. They labor 365 days a year. But they're only given one day to celebrate. Now, this is what the Lord had given to me. If they only have one day to celebrate, don't you try to take all the time up in their day. Amen. Now, what I'm proposing to you today, if you would accept what God has given to me, I'm going to get in your way. Well, I'm already in your way. But soon, I'm going to try to find my way out of your way so they can enjoy the rest of their thing. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. I, I, like I said, I give under the North Blue Rock Path, and I heard them say, that's all right, too, Tim. So I'm going to go along with what they say. Amen. Those are his fellow. Uh, pastors in the in the uh, district. Yes, sir. I looking at your program. See your theme coming from the book of Ephesians, second chapter and the seventh verse. If I may today, I want to work my way to your text. I want to start reading at the first verse. Can I do that? Yes, sir. Amen. 
If you have Ephesians, the second chapter, beginning at the first verse, you will find it written. And you had his quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the earth. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, help me say, but God. <laughs> But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and has raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly place in Christ Jesus. Your text, that in the ages to come. Help me say the ages to come. The ages to come. So it ain't just for you, it's for the ages to come. Yes. Amen. For the ages to come, he might, help me say he might, he might. show the exceeding riches of his grace yes. in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Yes. For by grace are you saved yes. through faith and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Last verse. Not, by, not of works. Least any man should. Amen. I'm going to try to stay with what you have on your program. I want to speak to you today. Reverend the subject. Grace for the rest. Amen. Grace for the race is something to have something that you can depend on no matter what happens. We find in this particular passage of scripture the apostle Paul in his letter to the Christians and that was known as Ephesians. We find Paul writing to them first of all, telling them that he is bound. Right. Though we know he's in jail. Yes. But he's writing this letter, and he started off in the first, there's only six chapters in it. But he started off trying to encourage them. Yes. He said, I'm writing to you to tell you that it is encouraging to me when the word comes to me that you are yet still holding on to the faith. He said, it makes me feel good that you're yet holding on. Anybody here today yet holding on? Ah, uh, you done been through a lot, but you're still holding on. Paul said, it makes me feel good down in my heart. He said, when I hear you still holding on. He wanted to encourage them first. He said, and thank you for all of your love. All of you give it. Yeah. I thank you for all of that. Yeah. But after he get through telling them that, he gives us a hint. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, because I often think about you when I'm in my prayers, right. that you keep on yeah. holding on. Y'all yeah. ain't going to pray with me today. Yeah. He started out talking to them about where they are now. How many of you all know that we are in a race for our life? Yeah. We got some that say, if anybody asks you what's the matter with me, yeah. tell them I'm saved, yeah. sanctified, and I'm doing what? Yeah. Just because you're saved and sanctified don't mean that you got it made. Yeah. You're still in the race. Yeah. Stay in the race. Paul was trying to get their attention. Mm -hmm. 
to use things like us. All right. The Lord has placed us in this place. Yeah, yeah. The Lord has placed us in the heavenly place. All right. Paul was beginning, as you know, the third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth chapter. He talked to them then about what you got to do to stay in the race. All right. But in this uh, second chapter, we find that Paul began to tell them. He said, I got to remind you that before Christ died for your sins, you were dead in trespassing and dead in sin. Amen. Paul let them know, don't you forget what the Lord has done for you. Amen. Too many of us take for granted what the Lord has done for us. Too many of us think we did it for ourselves. Am I right about it? Paul said, at least a man will boast. I heard some people, when they get up, I'm not going to say preachers, I ain't going to say missionary. I said some people. That way you can't hold me to anything. Now don't tell them who it is, though. I heard folk get up and say, I'll tell you one thing, the devil better not mess with me. Because I've been saved so long until I tell you, I can bind the devil. You can't bind nothing. Am I right about it? Without the Lord on your side. Y'all gonna pray for me today. Paul began to talk to him. He said in time of the past. He said you done walked according to the course of this world. The course of this world, I don't care who you are, I don't care how saved you are, how long you've been saved. But Paul said we all done walked according to the course of this world. The course of this world taught us that if it feels good, do it. The course of this world said to some of us, if it tastes good, keep on drinking it. it Y'all, the course of this world said if it sounds good, listen to it. Am I right about it? The course of this world said if it looks good, am I right about it? Y'all don't want to be for real today. Your course was according to the prince of the power of the earth. Because heaven went on your mind. Am I right about it? There was no heaven on our mind at first. He said, like the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Paul said at one time or another, you were disobedient. But Jesus still loved you enough to die for you. And I don't understand it now, but Jesus died for us while we were still in sin. And some of us don't even want to claim our children because they are in sin. Am I right about it? He's still your child. I don't care what you think about them, they're still yours. Am I right about it? They got your last name. Now, I, I, 
I'm telling you, the scripture said it. I didn't. I read this. The scripture said, "Ye shall reap some of our children acting just like." And the reason why you don't want to claim your child is it brings back.
So I went over to the organist and told him that I'm going to sing this morning. And they asked me, they said, what key? And I looked at him and I didn't want to feel bad about it. And I said, well, uh, probably F. <laughs> Amen. talking about. 
that in ages to come we might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Jesus Christ. It might not be in our time. It might not be in our season. It might not be in our in the next generation. Or our seed may be the one that received his exceeding riches. We may not never see it. But I can tell you, God's been good to me. God's been good to me. I'm above ground and not six foot down and underground. God has been good to me. But in order to receive his exceeding riches in the age to come, we got to stay in the race. Yes. The devil is on our trail, ain't he? Yes. He's on our heels, isn't he? Yes. He's on our way. No matter where you're going, the devil is already on your way. Yes. He was waiting on you before you left home. Yes. He's at your front door. He's at your back door. Yes. But you got to still stay in the race because you got grace for the race. Yes. And then, you know, if you want to finish your course, the Bible tells me that the race is not won by the swift, yes, yes. nor the battle to the strong, but to him that who endures to the end. Yes. I ran track and field in high school. Yes. And one thing I found out was, yes. you got to stay in the race. Yes. But some people that was in the race would build their hope on false things. Yes. But saints of God, we got to build our hope up on grace. Yes. Grace and mercy. Yeah, yeah. Though when I was running track, people would do certain things to give them stamina. Yeah. Using steroids and stuff. Right. So they could stay in the race. Yes, but those things are temporary. Yeah. But grace lasts forever. Yeah. And in the, in the physical race, those that are running will use stimulants like monster drinks. Right. Energy drinks. Uh -huh. Five hour energy. Yeah. And use things called Hollywood. Yeah. Those different things they call superstar, yeah. Red Bull. Yeah. But I want to tell you in the spiritual race, you can't use any of those things. Right. You either got to know what grace is or you won't make it race. Right. You won't finish the race. But when we're in our spiritual race, we got to build our hope on spiritual energy. Yes. And that spiritual energy, like I said, grace and grace give us the Holy Ghost Somebody ought to shout glory if you know what the Holy Ghost is. Yeah. You ever felt like you were going through something? Yeah. And you ever felt like sometimes you felt like giving up? Yeah. But you felt that grace came in. Yeah. And you felt like staying in the race. Yeah. I know that some of us stay in the race. Uh -huh. Because God already gave it to us. Yeah. God gave us his son, Jesus Christ, didn't he? Yeah. And the son gave his life. Yeah. And his life gave us mercy. Yeah. And mercy led us to grace. Yeah. And grace is what's going to keep us in the race. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Ephesians 4 and 29 said, Let no corrupt communication yeah. proceed out of your mouth. Yeah. But that which is good to use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearer. Yeah. We need to tell some people about grace. Yeah. I heard them sing a song said, Amazing grace. Yeah. How sweet the sight. Yeah. That saved a wretch like me. Yeah. I don't know about y'all today, yeah. but I know that it was grace that saved me. Yeah. I know my father was a minister. Yeah. And I know I was born to a preacher. Yeah. But I, one thing I also know was that I was born in sin. And if it wasn't for the Lord on my side, all I can think about today is where would I be? Oh, thank you, Jesus. I know that it was grace that saved me. I know it's grace that'll keep me. Let me share this little story with you now. You know, Jesus, he had to give us grace. And it was his father that was riding down the road. That only one of those little country towns. Might have been Sparkman like where I'm from. But he had the windows down on his car. And this bee flew into the car. And when he came into the car, the little boy went to jumping around in the back seat. He said, Dad, you know that I'm allergic to, to insect stung. He said, if I get sting, I could die. And every time that bee would fly around, the little boy would feel but that father, he pulled that car over to the side. And he timed it just right when that bee came back through the window. And he reached back and grabbed it with his hand. And when he grabbed it with his hand,
baby. But that father looked at the young man, told that child, said, don't you worry about that beat. He said, look at my hand. Look at my hand. He said, you see that little black thing stuck in my hand. Said, that beat can't hurt you no more. Because you know why. The little boy said, why is that daddy? He said, he don't have his sting no more. because God is in control, a church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m. Midweek service, Thursday, 7 p.m.